a different video than what I'm used to. So I've just cracked a beer. Lithium. Pulled apart that lithium battery. Um, I was so curious, I didn't know what was inside it. So, so yeah, bought that Dremel and cut it open. And yeah, this is what was inside. Have a look at the video and I hope you like it. Um, and I'll see you soon. So today I'm going to be cutting into this lithium battery that I've been wondering what's inside for weeks and weeks. Um, only because I wouldn't mind seeing what sort of cells it has in it. If it's got um, prismatic cells, pouch cells, uh, it'd be interesting to see um, because I might use these cells if they do have prismatic cells in there. And get a better BMS and a custom made um, case for these batteries um, and I just can't find anywhere online where it shows what cells are inside so let's cut it open oh, it's pretty dodgy but managed to get the case open and this is what we've got inside not much Lots of padded structure for the space that is not filled with battery. Lots of foam on that side, that side, and some silicon or sealant holding the foam on. Doesn't move around, but it looks like it might be pouch cells. We'll have to wait and see. We've got a Dongan Wemai Guns Electronic VMS. Got VIP BMS written on it. 50 amp. Looks like model number CW3S4BMO H05. It's all soldered, not too bad soldering job. To the top of, looks like from the top, cylindrical lithium cells. Let's take that, try and take that part off and have a look. So, as you saw, it wasn't, wasn't as dodgy as I thought it would be, but it, there were small, small cylindrical cells inside. Now, I don't know a whole lot about lithium batteries and, and how it all works, but I know there's this BMS um, and whatever cells you use, um, and usually they're all 3.2 volt. So, that seems to be the case. Um, and I've tracked down what these cells are. I'll try to put it on the screen now. So I've tracked them down, um, and that's that's what I believe is in these Voltax 100 amp hour batteries. So um, if you do the maths, um, there's the 15.5 amp hours times seven. There's seven of them. It equals 108 amp hours um, times four rows, 3.2 um, times four. It's 12.8. So this is looking like they're telling the truth here, but Correct me because I don't know a lot about it and I'm sure there's something dodgy going on here. Um, whether it's the BMS, the BMS is only 50 amp BMS, so you know, you're limited to what you can draw out of these things, but for 400 bucks I think it's a pretty good deal. And yeah, I just needed to know what was inside, so that's all this video was about. Um, yeah, it's not a usual video that we usually post, but I couldn't find anything online about these batteries and I'm considering putting a couple of them in the boat. Um, so put in the comments what you think about them. There's obviously a reason why they're so cheap. They do have those safety protection on each cell, so it's good to see. Um, it looks like that BMS does have a temperature sensor going down to the cells. Um, I don't think it have a cold, like a temperature cutout feature on it. Um, so if you're kind of in colder climates, uh, that battery is probably not for you.